Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Lastly, is standing here and giving us applause. Maybe she's satisfied with how the election went last episode. Uh, in this episode, I was thinking it's really time for uh, exploring the hieroglyphs. We have taken this picture. It's not the most <laughs> high resolution one, to be honest. Let's full screen it. Yeah, that's not a good resolution, but either way, with this we have the hieroglyphs position on the on the overworld map. And I also have taken these because I think these are like in the order you should take them to get the the memories in order. And we have taken this one. That's the first one we got, uh, like, which started all of this, this quest line. So this one is done. So we're gonna search for that one today. That's the first one. So then we're gonna go here. <laughs> and try to see it on this map. It's, it's hard to, to tell you, but I think it's... This one is to the left uh, of the... Um, in the middle there you see like a thing pointing up. That's the castle. To the lef left of that is this one, and I think that design is the one up to the northwest from this one. So, um, it's hard to point because I have nothing to point with. But almost up in the left corner, uh, the one uh, in the middle of those three in the, in the corner there, in the left corner. I think it's... that's the second hieroglyph. So, so let us then quick travel somewhere near Rita village because here is that hieroglyph so the other one should be somewhere here I guess but let's go to the sky to sky view tower and get some height up because then we can see where the next hieroglyph is with this we will probably know where we should aim for. There it is. And that looks like the same design if I'm corrected here. I'm just gonna double check. I'm pretty sure it's the same but let's... doesn't hurt to double check. Yeah, it's the same. So first of all we need to change to winter clothes. And also this one. Then while we're here, we should also maybe visit um, the inn, the Lucky Clover Gazette. But that's not for now. And there we have a shrine, it looks like, that we haven't done. We start over here. From now, I think it's that one. That looks interesting. Because the memories are usually... They said that in the first quest that they are usually at the teardrops. Can be behind that one. That's a bit sus that it's covering also. But yeah, I, it's... Okay, let me... Take away that pin. I think it's that one, actually. That one looks the most sus, either way. We're gonna start there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. The story time.
as I thought. This is not the world I know. A time so far back in the past, it's become legend. So it's true. This is really the era of Hyrule's founding? Your presence here is just as strange to us, Zelda. But if you, like Sonya, have a secret stone and are able to manipulate time, then your story makes sense. Oh, I believed her right away. You needed the secret stone as proof, Raru? I can feel your light power within her, as well as my time power. Additionally, I sense that we share a blood connection. Ah, oh, I no. see. In any case, Zelda, you had said that you needed to return to your era as soon as you possibly could. Yes. In my time, something terrible is happening. I need to get back there, but how do I do that? I don't even know how I got here in the first place. <laughs> Now, Zelda, dear, oh. you don't need to solve your problems all at once. Why not come back with us to the castle, hmm? No, I... We'll tell everyone that you're a, a distant relative of ours. <laughs> it is true, after all. We'll get you fresh clothes, too. Oh. Oh. I'm sure an answer will come to you. Wisdom takes time. I don't know what to say. Hmm, I wonder. Minoru, she may have some idea of how to get you back to your era. Minoru, you said? Yes. She knows far more than anyone about our people. And like us, my older sister has a secret stone. We'll call on her. Raru needed proof, huh? That's awkward. So the, the queen there in the past was a distant relative to Zelda, I guess. So is Raru a distant relative to Link? <laughs> memories has been added to the memories log. Nice. So that's one done. And I also want to explore here quickly. Like that thing looks a bit sus. Oh, it's the same type of thing that we found um, up on the sky sky tower uh, some episodes ago. What do they want me to do with this? I guess shoot it down. But is it like with an explosion? Is that really what they want? I can try if they want to. And we know what to do up there. <laughs> bye bye. Nice. So we got a Karoko as well. Here, enemies. Uh oh. Lucky. Nice, a lot of good items here. Field room. Okay, so now we got that thing done. Which means, if we're gonna do another memory, the third one should be the, the Nintendo Switch looking thing. And that's 
straight right to the cast right of the castle. So if you look at the castle in the middle and then to the right, it looks like uh, we have that symbol. So I guess the easiest way would be this sky tower and then just do the same thing again. Because here we are pretty much done, I would say now. At least for now, we have a lot of things to explore up here. But that's for another day. So we have the castle and straight right to the castle. Because we are above it now, it's to the left, so... Should be somewhere here. If I'm not blind. Let's open the picture again. Castle... I think we're like straight, should be straight above it almost. Should be here somewhere. We also had the islands, uh, or the water thing we could see. So it should be, it should basically be at the stable almost. Now we have some more better sight though, but I don't see it. I don't see it quite yet. Wasn't it here it should have been? Let me just land on this platform thingy. can it be? Maybe I'm way off. Maybe it's over here. Uh, let me check the album again here. It should be before the big water again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's more, more like here, actually. Now I'm looking the correct way. Maybe it's like all... Oh, it's there. I, I think I see it. was way smaller than I anticipated. There we go. I want to see if I turned off the shrine detector because it feels really quiet. Uh, sensor. I guess it's on. I see a theme that the droplet is usually in like really central on the picture in the grounds here. This should maybe be a Kuroko. Nine, nice. Soon we have... We can already probably upgrade the... Uh, 
bow or shield slot, but soon we can do another weapon slot, which is nice. Let's go and check this memory out. No time to, to waste. That's a it good looking quite switch. An interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. That said, I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes. Whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on to it. I'm not sure if I would trust someone from like the ancient times so to figure technology out. Story? That I came from the future. I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru, do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? I suspect no. it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, Secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. That's nice. Raru can repel or destroy evil with his power of light. And Sonia, she can control time. As for you, I can sense both light and time powers. Mm. She's a hybrid. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. That means, if you don't already know how to get yourself home... <sighs> There are stories about the secret stones and a forbidden act called draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. <gasps> oh. Interesting. Another way to reach the future, though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yes. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. I thought maybe this could lead to a solution. Some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you, you. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. Back where we started. There's still hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. I'm sure Sonya would be happy to help you. <sighs> okay. Um. So I guess those uh, dragons that are soaring the skies are sages who have eaten their power stone. <gasps> nice. So now we know that she possesses both light and time power, so I guess she's a descendant of both of them. Uh, if it's like a hybrid. 
So, should we do one more memory this episode? Because I don't want to do them all in one episode. That, that takes the fun out of the story. So let's do one more. Uh, the crocodile looking thingy. And that's just underneath the... Okay. So, check the water. So that left thingy water. So it's this one. And then we're... Crosses out to two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's some somewhere here. And the easiest way to get there is from this sky tower. <laughs> A lot of sky view towers today. Oh, that's a juicy, juicy little thing I want to make explode. Oh, I hope this is enough. Yeah. I didn't die from that. What the hell? And that's missed, of course. How could they not die from that explosion? And now they're gone, huh? Did I get anything? Yeah, I got some here. Nice. Otherwise, this would have been weird. Because they are usually one hit. Thank you. Uh, okay, so we're going the wrong way at the moment. It's here we're going. And because it's night, we can already see the thing. So we should just do this. Makes it easier for the next time we're gonna. So point of interest. But this is this one we're doing to right now, and before it, let's kill this fun-looking enemy that's carrying three other enemies. So here we wanna like drop in. With a boom. You missed. Uh, it's only me that gets thrown off. I'm not sure that's fair. Ah, that's too much. Just make it easy for us with some aimbot. Thought that would headshot. Thank you. Oof. That's closed. Let me on. He's gonna throw me off here. Come on, please. <laughs> They're so scuffed fighting. Oh, wow. I just flew straight off, huh? I wonder what he feels when I do this on him. Must be a weird sensation. Let me be on you, dude. That's on the edge. <laughs> now, can we finish this? I pressed. That was a bit scuffed, but we managed. And some uh, buckling horns. I wonder what you can do with those hearts. Feels like they should have a different use... ...use case than only as a weapon fuser. But who knows? Good damage though. Then we keep going. 
What is this? Ah, oh, that's the girl with the... Um, with the plushies. We're gonna go and check her out. First, we're gonna go here. Because it might be a Kuroko. On the top of here. Yes, it was not. <laughs> Ignore that for now. I'm gonna get scared this time again. Uh. Huh, was this not the way to Ateno village? I can't get lost now. Not after spending all the, that time with the Gerudo doll maker learning to make sand seal plushies. I refuse to give up on my dream of handing this out to the school kids. I can't wait to see their faces light up when I give them these stuffed toys. Hope I can remember not to glare at them. Oh, I know. I should practice my routine so I can hand out the toys with a smile. Good evening, children. I'm the sand seal lady. Hmm. Not much pizzazz to it. How about... Evening, kids. It's nice to see you. Everyone's sealing good? Oof. Fake it till you make it, I guess. But it'd be worth seeing those kids being real. What are you doing? So now she's gonna get scared. Yeah, so it's the same quest as we've done before. And now we need uh, to help her uh, tidy oh. up. Or bring the plushies back into the cart. Oh no, it's gonna be on water, huh? Oh. Uh, I wouldn't mind if you help me. Yeah, I will help you. I'll do it. Thank you. And it will go on time. So here I will oh. probably make the boat quickly here. It's gonna take way too long time to... To swim. Okay. So, boat. Oh, I was close of not having enough money for that. And then just make them stick to this thing. No, 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 no. I'm scared that I'm getting too much weight on. <laughs> Let's just take this into the ground now. I'm not sure if this is a good enough strategy. This one I already reach. Now we need to quickly turn around here. Reach it, yeah. So this one to this. This one here. And just throw it out there. And then go and take the last one here. And then go to the to the cart. I think we will manage. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. And now just attach everything to, to each other here. And also this one before it floats away. And that should be the last one. Nice. I was like, have I missed any? No way, you're done picking them all up. That was fast. I'm not sure if it was so fast though. Nice work. I didn't think you managed to load them up all in a short 
time. So yeah, here's your pay. Your deposit is included in that. Thank you, thank you. So let leave me alone. Of course, I can do that. Here we want some height, so why not use this spring? So Kuroko it seems being out there at the stone. Let's go and take that first. Is that another stone monster? Seems like it, right? Yeah, 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 I think it is. First off, we don't need the, the winter clothes here. So maybe... Sneak. Well, I wanna try this uh, hat on also, I have never used it. Will they think that I'm like kind now? I'm with you guys. I'm with you guys. Why are you so mad? Let me get up here, dude. I thought that hat would uh, lure them. This is perfect round to get up. That's clean. I really hope they drop some arrows on me. Nice. Prep some more, yeah. Take it on this. Does this count as other treasure chests? I think it's... Yeah, yeah, so let's keep the old one. To pass. And I wanted to get some height here so I could... Fly and see where the drop are. And I was thinking maybe I could do that with some fire in the grass, but when it's raining like this, uh, it's hard to do. So let me just build my uh, motorbike. Wait, can I make this? <laughs> That's scuffed. Why can I make this? Then I really need to. Let me favorite this with five of them. Why not? Uh, but I want to build this, and we need nine, and I only have seven. But I think I have parts, at least one of these. 
Which, if I remember correctly, makes the cost for this to six instead of seven. Uh, instead of nine, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So after this, we really need to go to the depths and collect some soul knight as well. Okay, so I'm thinking usually in the middle, pretty central. Maybe it's down in the trees here, or underneath the trees, rather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Felt a bit too sus having that many trees in one place. Let's keep the memories going. down before me. was a powerful beam. God damn. I liked uh, the detail when his eye was third eye was opening. How is that possible? And they were all toast. So brute force will not be enough. The Zona. <laughs> How interesting. Also, now he's probably gonna go and get a st one of those stones for himself, and that made him really powerful, I guess. Because that was the Devil Dude. Or it looked like the Devil Dude, at least. Nice. Now we have even more lure under our belt. But uh, we're gonna keep saving some of these memories for later in the gate playthrough as well. But I feel like with those additions we have some more backstory at least, which is nice. I think I saw a well over here, so I'm gonna go and just quickly explore it. It looked like something sus here. Yeah, some gloom is pouring out from it. And, we, that, and that's pretty weird, actually. 
So it's like this well, is it taking me down to the depths? It is, huh? Nice, because <laughs> I just said that we needed to go to the depths. So why not drop down here then? Oh. Sure. We can stand over here. Yeah. Yes, for our sake here. There we have those dudes. Where did we drop? We dropped. Okay. I guess let's just start with killing these dudes over here. Will that aggro them? They will check the light out at least. And I guess that this uh, cloth you need the whole... Uh, maybe the whole um, kit to be able to, to get the effect from it. That's a bad picture, but I don't think we have taken a picture on those, so why not? Uh, okay, so we have one that's looking out. Let's misclick. Let's do a better bow than the one breaking. And then let's just jump down. We wanna kill the guard. Before he... Also on help. That's bad. That's better, I guess. We need some more damage. Oh my god. I let my energy go out. Wow. Wow, you, you had time. like the thing he has on his head. Super huge. Wow. Team coming from behind there. And also phrasing. <laughs> okay, we need to, to do something here. Oh my god, that's bad. Maybe we should just throw one of the flowers. One of these dude can... Wow. My depth procession <laughs> is always so bad. Uh, but what is an episode without a uh, little depth, huh? Brings some... Some fun to this playthrough. At least we can tell us ourselves that. I'm gonna try the sneaky approach because they gave me a second chance with like spawning right up in their face. That's one of them. Now, let's throw this goddamn flower early. Just to make... Oh, 
Why am I so bad at aiming? Oh. That's awkward. There you go. Let the big dudes fight each other. For now, at least. Wow. Oh my god, I'm the worst. Oh, that was close on me dying again. I don't need to go into the gloom by myself. I thought that would hit crit. That's good. so bad black moblin horn uh, attach a weapon to great decrease attack power that looks really bulky but yeah <laughs> this fight was a bit bad to say the least let's just play this safe hopefully <laughs> I don't care, I'm gonna snipe this dude. To keep the distance, because I don't trust myself after that performance. And let's grab this. I need a lot of arrows after that as well. But this is what we primarily came down here for. All the sweet, sweet sonite. Maybe also we should br bring out the the dude that can shoot stones. But first of all, we really need a place to get the. Uh, the gloom effect are off, of, off us. <sighs> because we have too much gloom at the moment. Here we go. Build a car for free. Thank you. And I'm not sure where we're going. That should be in the overall, yeah. But let's just choose one one way and keep going until we find the blue. <laughs> I think that I should have time there, but... I see the control button and press A, but nothing. <laughs> Nothing happens. Okay, so we're going south, I guess. We're going into this mouth looking gap. Soon we need a place to land on. Oh, there we have one. So then we can actually eat a large zonite. There we have one as well. Let's start with that. Looks like it's closer.
That's southeast, huh? This place can be really scary sometimes. <laughs> when you don't see anything. It's like you're going in pitch darkness. Nice. Oh, I was close of me failing that landing. West Nekluda Depths. Ah, the Nekluda part. It's for to the west. That makes sense. Ah, oh, I can breathe out again. <laughs> Finally. And... It's also, I've done this between episodes. Cooked some food. That are without effect. <sighs> then just fly to the next one, I guess. Yeah, that's deep down. And also, let's clear this thing. This looks like some type of camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, a lot of enemies. We're gonna start with these, because we don't want these to aggro when we fight the other. These are on freaking... ...horses. And the last one. Are they mad at me? Or are they just mad? <laughs> Looks like they are just mad. Oh, that's arrows. What does he have on his head? A silver moblin, huh? That sounds uh, dangerous. A blue vocal lobby. Have we taken the blue ones? Keep the old, I guess. So those silver dudes look really, really dangerous. And I don't have a lot of arrows left. So maybe an aimbot arrow that also gives like electric can be a good start here. And then just make the meat one as well. Why not have one last one on him? Nice. Okay. No, spear actually is good in this situation, and by fuse attack power, what could a spear be nice with? Maybe an ice breath this? You, you hit my thing, because this should freeze, yeah, and then we can just bring out something else. And then go back and freeze <laughs> and bring out something else and then quickly freeze again that's a good plan you throw your friend out here I just want to do this for fun. It 
while he's trying to throw that dude. How oh, did... Did my freezing thing go off? Looks like it. No, it's still here. I knew that case would come, but I still let him do it to me. That's bad. Oof, I got saved by my friend. Yeah, those silver dudes were a bit was a bit harder actually. But that's a nice, a nasty looking rock card horn. Attach it to a weapon to vastly increase its attack power. Yes, please. I want to do that straight ahead. Oh, it's my most powerful fuse thing, then I will save it. <sighs> Let's try one of these. And attach it to... I guess these are actually pretty good, the one in the trees here. I just wanna destroy the fuse element. That looks pretty nice. <laughs> oh, you're still here, huh? will break any second. Probably here. Yeah. Nice. Some arrows as well. Is that everything we could get here? Looks like it. And my car. Yeah. Now I don't remember really where... Where we put... Where the next route were. I think it was this way. Is that a temple of some sort? Looks like a Yiga... Yiga thingy. So where, where did we come from? We came from... Over there. I swear I saw one... Was it that one I saw before? Must be. Must be. That's so far, dude. Let's go there, I guess. Slurp one of these. Doesn't even look without the pose in the ground. It looks like we don't even approach um, 
Like that we that we're closing up to it. Now it starts looking closer. I think to walk this distance without a horse even down here. It would be some crazy parkour to, to not touch the gloom. Nice. Let's just unlock this. Perfect. A lot of uh, walls around us here. So slurp some food. And with that food eaten and map part unlocked, we will have to end the episode here for today. As always, if you have enjoyed this episode, please consider liking the video, it helps me a lot. And also, if you haven't already, consider subscribing so you don't miss on the future episodes. This has been 23, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.